grande responsabilidade de chamar o nosso lema e ser a sua companheira de todas as horas. Hello everyone. Can everyone hear me okay? Very, very well. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad the mic is working. Hello. Uh, my video camera was not working earlier, but let's see if it's working now. Oh, there I am. Hello everyone. Um, can I see your lovely faces if you've turned your webcam off? Thank you, Giovanni. Okay. Philip, Mario, do I get to see your faces? Thank you. <laughs> All right. No? No faces. Oh, there we go. Mario, I can see you. Philip, joining in. Okay. Hi, Philip. You're right there. Excellent. Perfect. See you All again. Right. You, if you've taken class with me before, you know I like to start with introductions. So I think that you've all had me in your class before. So let's try something a little bit different today. Um, I'm Tara. You can call me Talix if you want. I accept anything. And um, yesterday after classes, what did I do? I went on my bike and I biked all around London 
and I came back and I made Italian food. So that is what I did yesterday after classes. Um, all right, so starting with Giovanni, because you were the first to arrive, um, I want to know, obviously, who you are, where you are from, and what you did yesterday after work. Okay. Do. Giovanni, want to start? Okay. Uh, I, uh, I am Giovanni. I am from Peru. Yesterday, after work, I went uh, to the... Uh, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, to the internet, to the coffee internet. Okay, the internet store, yeah. Yes, because I needed to uh, meet my friends. We spend time talking, working, and playing video games. <laughs> so you talked to your friends and you played video games. Yes. Not too bad. Thanks, Giovanni. Um, Mario, you already clicked on your face, so these questions. Who you are, where are you from, and what did you do yesterday after work? Mm. I am Mario. Um, I'm from Brazil. I I'm living in Victory. I'm um I'm in the lab to our DJ yesterday after work. I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm play play football. Okay. I, yeah, I. Staying and play football. Not bad. Not a bad deal. Uh, thanks, Mario. Uh, Philip, your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Philip. Philip Wong. Yeah, that's my real name. And I'm from Thailand. I'm the northmost of Thailand. It's called Chiang Mai. Our first the next city have a nightlife, you know, everybody wants to come here. And yesterday, since I have two days off after my midterm test examination, you know, I have two days off and I and I still remember and last Saturday I found out this website, I know not not website, it's Google Hangout for free and I just spent a lot of time on this. I mean that's all I can remember I say. <laughs> I sat in front of, you know, different teachers in every hour, and I really so enjoyed teaching. So when you teaching. weren't doing exams, you were still taking classes. You're yeah. very dedicated. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm taking the international business English. Yeah, that's okay. why I spend a lot of time on English. Fun. Not too much, I hope. Mm, you know, I know myself. <laughs> All right, thanks, Philip. And Sakutara, your turn. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sakutara, and uh, I'm from Vietnam. Um, I'm uh, 27 years old. Uh, I'm a civil engineer. And um, yesterday, after work, I uh, play uh, tennis with my uh, co-worker and then uh, I will come back home. All right, so um, we have, um, in terms of what we do in our downtime, uh, Giovanni, I remember you went to the Internet Cafe, cafe to talk to friends. We go to the internet cafe to talk to friends. We play video games. Mario plays football. Philip goes to more English classes. Yeah. And Sakutara plays tennis. And I ride my bike. 
so those are some hobbies. Um, today, essentially, in class, is going to be very straightforward. My voice is still not 100%, so I want to hear you guys speaking and reading a lot. But it's beginner reading comprehension, so I've chosen some very basic uh, scripts that we are, we'll read to, through all together and answer questions. So, I'm going to start with some simple ones and then we're going to move into more fun ones. So, like celebrity, people magazine, famous people and stuff. So, let's start with this one. Again, very simple, just again, an intro statement about someone. I've pasted it. It's about Claudio. So, does anyone want to volunteer to read? No? Me. Giovanni, I'm calling on you because you were here first. Okay. Uh, Claudio. Hello, my name is Claudio. I am from Italy and I am a student. I am 25 years old and I am single. I live in an apartment with my parents. I go to the university five days a week. I like going to the disco on Saturdays. I don't like playing sports. I have one sister and one brother, Maria and Antonio. First, any questions uh, about vocabulary? Any words that we don't understand? All good? All no. right. Hmm? No questions. Teacher, teacher, reach. Yeah? Reach. I don't know. I live in a apartment. Reach my, reach. Mario, do you want to type it? Because I can't quite understand what you don't understand. With? Okay. So, um, with is essentially, it's a preposition. It's a preposition. It's preposition. And Oh, actually, teacher, it's going to make harder for him. Why don't... What language do you speak, Mario? Mario, what language do you, do you speak? I think he speaks Portuguese. Because... All right. I mean, prepositions more... Portuguese. Um, all right. Well, it's important to know what type of word it is versus noun, verb, preposition. And when he says he lives with his parents, it is one house and he lives in the same house as his parents. Um, if I were to go to the cinema, to the movies, if I go see a film, I will go with someone. So I will bring my friend with me. Does that make a bit more sense? Mario, do you understand or do you want more more of a definition? Um, I don't understand. Okay. Um, so, let me think of a new way you, to explain this. Why Teacher, you, try, you, 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 you have to try your best. I mean, why don't we ask the language that he speaks and then we, you know, the Google could help. It's, you know, specific word that could describe in his language. Yeah. Well, Giovanni's typing. Let's see if he'll have him out. I often go to this website, which is an online translation dictionary. Mario, if you're not quite sure about the clarification, if you click here, you can opt to have it translated from English to Portuguese. And I will give you the link. So, but you can just type it in. And you can see that the first example is about 
uh, being accompanied. So again, I go to see the film, I bring my friend, I go with my friend. So hopefully that helps a bit. Any other questions about vocabulary? No? Excellent. Moving on. Uh, this is the next bio. Um, I was going to call on Philip, but he's gone. Uh, Sakutara, do you want to read this one? I can. Oh, Mario, would you like to read it? Okay. Okay, starting from Chu. Chu, hi. My name is Chu and I come from Korea. I'm a Bussinman and I work in Seoul. I'm a Marian and I have two children. Miljin, a girl, and Dark Hu, a boy. I like in a small house. In the service, in service. I, okay. I take to subway to work from Monday to Friday. I like playing golf in my free time. I don't like singing karaoke. Excellent. Um, Hi, Emily. There Hello. is a mistake in this paragraph. Does anyone know what the mistake is? That's my fault. I typed this. Um, where is the mistake? Anyone have any idea? All right, I'll retype it, fixing the mistake. Oh, I live in, not a like in, right? Perfect, excellent. Yeah. Ten points to Philip. Um, yeah, no, it was a typo. In <laughs> this sentence, it should be, to like something is to have a preference for it. So, I like English class. I like my cell phone. But... This should be, I live, so, because he lives in a small house in the suburbs. Oh. He, like could, he could say, I like my small house in the suburbs. That would mean he likes where he lives, important if you're living there. But he, the way that sentence is formatted, Exactly. Exactly, Philip. Um, so those are questions. Now, let me do this so that you can't see any of the chat. Um, and let's try just some questions, and I'll call on you. So, Mario? Hi. Where is Claudio from? Mm. Uh, I don't teach her. Uh, you don't remember? Does anyone no. remember where Claudia is from? Emre, you weren't here for this, so you can sit out for this one. Can I come from I Italy? Yes. Yeah, so Claudio is from Italy. Excellent. Very simple question. Uh, okay. okay. Um, and... What does Chul do? What does he do? Businessman. He's a businessman. So Chul is a businessman. So when we ask what does he do, it means what is his work? What is his work or his profession? Larger or uh, or two? Uh, oh, sorry, Mario. What do you mean? Larger. This is true. And true. Larger is businessman. No. 
Go no. back. Is a word. Joe is a businessman. Claudio is from Italy. Joe is a businessman. What does Claudio do? Uh, am I working to um, Claudio? Mm, Claudio. Mario, you're cheating. You're not supposed to look. <laughs> <laughs> That's too obvious. Claudio is a student. He is a student. But you're not supposed to pee. Claudio is a student. Yes. Um, where does Claudio live? Um, with my parents. <laughs> he lives with his parents. Yeah. All right. So Emre wasn't here, so I will pull down the text again, and so this time. If you want, you can look at it. It's better to test yourself without looking at it, but also going back and looking for it. You are picking out the parts for the question. So that works too. So, Emre, that's about Claudio. And this is. Oh, sorry. I just typed it again. Um, the next one is about Chul. So, who is Korean? It won't let me copy. Okay. So Claudio Chul. Um Emre, do you want to read those silently? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh and we'll answer questions down here. Okay. Wee. So Sorry to next hear. I did not I did not know the code did not leave. Sorry. Mario, what did you know? Uh, I'm sorry, I did not know. He could not read it. Oh, you <laughs> didn't know you couldn't read it. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. You can. There's nothing you can't do. You're not supposed to. I recommend trying without looking. So I recommend trying without looking at the text. So, so how does Chul get to work? So, what method of transportation? Does he fly to work? Does he bike to work? How does he get to work? To, to, uh, uh, he um, gets to work by subway. He goes to su he goes with the subway. He, so he takes the subway. We say. Excellent job, guys. I think I chose too easy a dialogue. Um. Uh. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Who likes playing sports? True. No. Uh, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Clown. Clown. Clown play. play it's a sport. trick question, but no, it doesn't say say Chul um, likes playing sports. Information not given. Exactly. But we we know because uh, it, that Claudio does not like play. Yes, it doesn't say. So it doesn't say that Chul likes it, but we know that Claudio does not like it. Yes. Yeah. I don't consider golf a sport. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Golf is just not a sport. It's just a, a way to hang out. A way to hang out. Mario, 
Mario disagrees. Mario, do you think golf is a sport? I don't consider golf a sport, but... <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. Even people uh, consider walking uh, the walking a sport, so why shouldn't golf be a sport then? Alright, Emery thinks that why shouldn't golf be a sport? Alright, so if we consider golf a sport, it does say Chul likes to play golf. To play golf, so if we consider golf a sport, Chul likes playing a sport. I think of golf as more of a yes. playing music thing rather than a sport, but yeah, like like a like a tea town. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, this is a simple numbers question. How many? All right, Sagutara. Um, hopefully, you can get back in. Okay. So. Sakutara. Does Chul have? And to have. Chul and. Chul have and Chul. Two. Two kids. Yes. Two kids. Alright, this um, is. On gal, on board. Yes. Good job, guys. All right, let's try this one. Who doesn't live with Claudio? In his family, who doesn't live with Claudio? Sorry. Oh, this is very detailed. I can't remember. <laughs> Tricky question. All right, let's try with who maybe, does live with Claudio. Maybe as he is, he or she, Claudio. Claudio is a he. Claudio is single, as far as I remember. So, and uh, he lives with uh, his family. His parents. So, uh, parents. So maybe his uh, wife, oh. <laughs> as he is absent from his wife. Yeah. <laughs> His wife doesn't live with her. With him. That's true. He doesn't have a wife, so she doesn't live with him. It's a little bit of a trick question in the sense that his parents live with him, but he doesn't have children so or a wife, so they don't live with him. Great job with that. Tempo. Sorry? <laughs> well, who is married then? No, no. Cloud? <laughs> no. No. Mario, uh, you read that. I remember. Shu, uh, Shu, Shu is married. Shu is married. Excellent. Yeah, but Ten points for Mario. <laughs> um, I don't know. What this is just because I want to check what continent are they from? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious what continents they're from. Continents. Ooh. Europe. Europe and. <laughs> I remember Saul, right? And Saul must be in Korea and Asia. In right? Asia. Excellent. Europe yeah, Asia. and okay. Asia. Excellent job, guys. Woo! All right. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. It's a conversation this time, so I will need someone to be David. And someone to be Maria. No. Any volunteers for David? Ooh. Philip, David. you're David. I'm calling on you. Because okay. Giovanni Red. Red. 
for this dialogue. Philip is yeah. David, and Emre, you can be Maria. <laughs> I, okay, I okay, Maria. let's go on. I am Maria. <laughs> so, Philip, do you want to start? Uh, so, all the way back at the beginning of the dialogue where David starts speaking? Okay, okay, I'm rolling now. Okay. David, how do you like... Okay, let's start it again. <laughs> David, how do you like living in the big city? No, you're David Philip, so you don't have to say David. It just tells you where you should speak. Uh, let's do it over again. All right. My mistake. Okay. I just read the text. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just read the text. Okay. How do you like living in the big city? There are many, many things that are better than living in a country. Uh, should it be Mary of me or the no, other you don't person? Need to. Don't worry about it. That's no. just to tell you where to speak. Okay. okay. Can 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 you give me some examples? Well, it certainly is more interesting than the country. There's so much more to do and see. Yes, but the city is more dangerous than the country. That's true. People in the city aren't as open and friendly as those in the countryside. I'm sure that the country is more relaxed too. Yes, the city is busier than the country. However, the country is much slower than the city. I think that's a good thing. Oh, I don't. <laughs> the country is so slow and boring. Uh, it's much more boring than the city. How about the cost of living? The cost of living. Is the country cheaper than the city? Oh yes, the city is more expensive than the country. Life in life in country is also much healthier than the city. Yes, it's cleaner and less dangerous in the country, but the city is so much more exciting. It's faster, crazier, and more fun than the country. I think you're crazy for moving to city. Well, I'm young now. Maybe when I'm married and have children, I'll move back to the country. All right, the country versus city. Um. All right, I'm curious. Um, Emre, Giovanni, Mario, Philip, do you live in a big city or do you live in the countryside? I live in both. All right, let's go one at a time. Um. All right. Maria, Emre, uh, where do you live? I live uh, both in also uh, uh, at the capital of Turkey, you know, Ankara. I study there, but uh, my hometown is a smaller one. What do uh, you prefer? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, as I am young and uh, want to do a lot of things, the crazy things, uh, I want to choose the bigger one, but uh, after maybe when I'm uh, old, elder gets elder, uh, I want to go back to my uh, home city, the small Makes one. Makes sense. Yeah, like like Maria feels. When you're young, you want to be in a city, but yeah. when you want to settle down, it's typical to want to move to the countryside. Giovanni, what about you? Well, I live in a countryside. Uh, it is, I don't know, it's oh. in four kilo kilometers. Four, I don't know how do you say kilometers, kilometers? Kilometers, yeah. Kilometers yes, from now, from here. Uh, and I think it's it's good idea to live here because all is peaceful, uh, but sometimes you don't have the commodities that you have in a, in a big city, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a disadvantage, I think. And you need to, uh, and for example, I, I'm going to study to the city, to the university, because mm -hmm. in, in this countryside there is not um, you, uh, a university, almost, almost schools, and almost schools. I need to travel every day to the city. <laughs> so you travel? You commute. Yes. I'll write that. You commute. So Giovanni commutes into the city. 
What about you, Mario? Oh? Do you live oh. in a big city or do you live in the country? Maria or David? You! Mario! And, and, and big in charge. I'm living in, um, in, uh, huh, huh. I live in, in Island. In a city or countryside? What? A city or country? Do you live in a city or the countryside? Far city. City. A city. Okay, cool. So Mario is a city boy. And Philip, what about you? Yep. Uh, I live in city right now. Actually, I have to say I am staying in city just for four years college. Yeah, but my hometown, I think just like a M Emmer. Like my hometown, it's countryside with, yeah, with a lot of trees and healthy air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's big. <laughs> Actually, fresh, fresh air, I suppose to say that. Fresh air, yes, it is very fresh air in the countryside. I have always lived in a big city, so my my hometown. My luck to make it to boy. Has over a million people. Where do you live? What's the hometown? So I live in London now, which is huge. London yeah. has eight million. But where I am from, in California, has oh. over a million people. That's great. Yeah, if I were you, I would rather spend time in California. Because I think, <laughs> yeah, California the weather more. is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. weather is much, much, much better in California. Yeah. Emre, I see you typing. Yes, I'm typing something. I uh, I was writing that, the, uh, you know, uh, I think everybody knows Istanbul. Yes. Uh, in our country, and uh, there are more than um, 15 million people living there. That's yes. a big city. Yes, yeah. very big. My best friend is in <coughs> Istanbul right now teaching English. Mm, and yes, she says it's she, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but Istanbul is, I think, really good. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to have that many people. Which brings and us to the dialogue. So, in Istanbul? Hmm? And he, and you live in Istanbul? Amri lives outside of Istanbul, my friend. Yeah. So my best friend lives in Istanbul. Uh. She's English though, not Turkish. She's English, not Turkish. <laughs> She's teaching English. Does she study in a university or in an uh, English uh, teaching? Uh, um, she teaches for adults, so she teaches um, private lessons oh, okay. for business adults, oh, okay. which are much more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so let's answer some questions then about the dialogue. So where does Maria? Okay, I'll say which. Which location, the city or the country, does Maria find more interesting? City. The city. Very good. And what can I ask next? Um, where where is more dangerous to live? More dangerous one? What's more dangerous? Where is more dangerous? City versus country? City. 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 So city is much more dangerous. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs>
where are people more open, more friendly? Country. Country. Countryside. You guys have this down pat. All right. Which is quieter? Quieter. Which is quieter? Countryside. Country. Depends what farm you're on, but yes, the country is generally quieter than the city. Which is more expensive? The city, of course. City. Excellent. Um, it's an, it's usually either or, so you, you have a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Right, which is healthier. Philip, you know this one. He's disappeared. No, no, I'm here. I'm just I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking to my aunt, so I'm just making... Which is healthier, city or country? You know, it must be country. Countries <laughs> are a lot of healthier, you know. You have the trees to... How do you say that? To... <laughs> I don't know how to well, say that. Well, they process... All the yeah, I've been, been, been through the process. After that, you have uh, fresh air to breathe. Yeah, and and for the you know a lot of researchers they have done you know many research about you know normally and the result is the people in the country countryside they they last longer their life. Yeah. People yeah, in the country live longer. Yeah, can I take a minute? You know, I have a, this vocabulary in my back. <laughs> I don't quite know what you're doing, Philip. Long with T, right? The word's called long with T, like a the, the length of the life, the, the length of life, long with T. Longevity, yeah. Longevity. <laughs> I'm looking for this word. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's um, easy to remember because long, something is very long, so longevity just means yeah. a long life. Long life. I have a I have a lot of new world caps in my my back. <laughs> oh, exciting! So it's uh, yeah, it's on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is an opinion, but where do you think it's better to raise kids? Oh, I know, I I know this question. I think for me. It's still, it's still a debate, you know. We have people that they more prefer to raise the, to raise the kid, they, their kids, in the city or countryside. It depends on person. But for me, I think, I think city, I think city a little bit better because nowadays people try to develop the system of the city. You know, a lot of fresh air and it's the environment a lot better than it used to be. And yeah, yeah. you can, you know, problems. even. Yeah, yeah. Even you're, you're even you're living in the city, you can still have short vacation with your kids. You know, just camping in the countryside. Yeah, it's still it's still good. Yeah. Um, cities tend to be very cultural, so cities can be very cultural compared to the country. Mario, what do you think? It can be very cultural. Hmm. I don't. Mm. Think uh, I don't. Don't know? Well, we're no. still young, so it's weird to think about this question, but you can think about your childhood and when, where you grew up and whether that was a good or bad thing. Um, Giovanni, what do you think? Uh, okay, I, I, it depends. For example, I think I will have, if I am going to have a children, I prefer to that they grow up in in the countryside because until three years because these three years I think they can enjoy the nature, the fresh air and other things that you can find in in a, in a city. After that I can I can change the location of my children to the city because there are more opportunities to for studies, um, for 
for fun, uh, good jobs. I don't know. It's my opinion. So we're very mixed. Giovanni is leaning, so he's leaning towards the countryside. Philip's leaning towards the city, but it's an de ongoing debate. It's an ongoing debate. Oh. <laughs> Emre, what about you? What do you think? I think the children should be raised in a city because there are a lot of uh, opportunities there. They can improve their, themselves better in the city. Uh, but they shouldn't uh, neglect uh, going to countryside. So, but, uh, but in general, they should be raised in uh, a big city, I think, because they can uh, improve yourself, uh, improve themselves uh, from many aspects. Not only once they can have better education, better social activities, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I think so. And also extracurriculars. It's a lot easier yes. to have extracurriculars in a uh, city. So things like playing sports and dancing or theater, it's organized. So there yeah. are organized extracurriculars in the city. Music, 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 music. Mario? Music. Oh, you're just, okay. Okay, um, well, those were all the um, reading comprehension I had planned to do today. I actually had one more article, so I'll bring it up in the last five minutes. What was your opinion about this uh, debate? Oh, my opinion? Um, I think I'm also very mixed. I would want my children raised in both. So to have a, this is when I'm very, very wealthy and can afford it, but an apartment in the city and a house in the countryside so that they can experience both. So I would want both. But if I have to choose, if I have to choose one, I would have to say city. Yeah. Definitely. Because of all the culture, because of the extracurriculars, um, and also... Uh, street for by I want my children to be street smart. So, um, mm, yeah, vocabulary. that's important. I want them to know how to navigate the cities and have that intuition and that knowledge, mm -hmm. which is different from book smart. So, book smart is smart at school. Smart, uh, good at taking tests, etc. Um, street smart is knowledge of how to live best in good at school, but also uh, good at practice. Pretty cities, yeah, it's cool. Street smart, is cool. cool, cool kids. Um. So, okay, well, we probably don't have time for the other article. I'll get to it next beginner reading class. Um, yeah. But we have about three more minutes. Uh, if you ha have questions for me, you have questions for each other, we can just chat. Okay. Okay. Philippe, where are you from? So where am I from? Oh, you missed the beginning. Um, I was born in California. And that's where I'm from originally. Now I live in London. No. In I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't ask this, that question to you. I oh. asked to Philip. It wasn't okay. the name Philip. of <laughs> Whoops. Philip. Whoops. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, okay. <laughs> you really. <laughs> okay, I'm from Thailand. 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 Okay. Do you know Thailand? Boxing, Muay Thai, Buak Khao. Yes, yeah, the, the champion, the... the champion of K1 fighter. I know the capital of that country is Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok. Bangkok city. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other questions? 
you know, I, I have met the Emerald for several you know several times now, and we kind of familiar yeah. his face now. I saw you too. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you here. Yeah, you know, special too. thanks to to Kalinko website. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, ma'am, this question goes for you. Uh, you live in uh, you live both in America and in uh, England, and when you compare, which one is better? Oh, which one's better? Tell the truth, please. <laughs> uh, the truth. Well, California is better than London, um, oh. cause just I like sunshine and being in the sun, oh. and London rains a lot. Yes. Um. So I would say that California is better than London, but in terms of other places in the state, it depends like on what? where you are. Because California is amazing. Oklahoma, small mm -hmm. state, middle of nowhere, not so amazing. So I'd have to choose London over that. But mm -hmm. California is the best. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, all right, one more minute. So any more questions? No. Thanks for lesson. All right. Thank you for coming to class. I will see you guys around. I hope, and see you at yeah. another class sometime. So thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.